Hello everyone. Today we are talking about OpenCard theme development environment setting up automation. Uh, we set up a goal, the NPM, and install packages on that one. Uh, so, in our previous video, we show you how to create or clone the default theme of OpenCard 3 to custom theme. Today we will set up the uh, theme with a goal. For that, let's go. Let's go to the theme folder. CD catalog. I'm using the VS Code uh, terminal. You can use uh, whichever terminal you want. Catalog view theme. And here, git clone this repository. So clone. so let's go to that folder catalog view theme default and this is the clone uh, clone this open card theme development gulp setup is the is the one that we clone so if you are using git uh, uh, already uh, in your uh, root folder then the you can just delete this git uh, git if you are not using then it's better to keep track of those changes or you can just directly direct or you can just directly come here and download download the zip and uh, go to the catalog view theme and paste that zip here and extract it and here you will get the same open card theme default gulp setup so rename to your theme so theme name so for us let's keep web creation here now theme web creation now mostly all of the development tasks need to be done in this tab folder uh, mostly other use it as a source folder but I keep make it as a dev fo folder so everything we may hear uh, need to be and we need uh, we make changes in the JS here yes CSS here and it compiles and creates this JS and the, in the styles styles it folder so once we rename uh, rename to the theme let's go to that folder cd web creation then go to the dev folder then do npm install As our uh, uh, gulp is a gulp four, so most of the most of the uh, vulnerabilities has been uh, removed, and uh, it's uh, with the uh, all of these are in the latest latest uh, version. Now, now open. Let's go to the day folder and go to the gulp file.js and here you see i make a placeholder of opencard.log because this is my local host where my site is uh, where, where we host at the site now whatever your url uh, local host uh, slash your folder name or uh, whatever uh, your virtual uh, host you have set up just uh, paste it here make the changes here once this is done then go to your terminal and do the gulp now 
now everything is uh, created folders are created uh, images are minified uh, CSS is minified JS is minified uh, now you can go and let's check whether it has margin padding zero so in our yes CSS we just put the margin padding CSS zero so that's why it is showing just that okay that is good JS is okay now now let's start start making changes on our code now let's do the gulp watch let's open our uh, local host 300 in the browser and uh, like when if I make changes here and save it it reloads the browser so it's good now let's make changes on the theme first let's go to the admin login go to the extension extensions we are changing the theme folder uh, so go to the themes we, right now we are using the default stored theme so let's edit it and make changes to this default folder to web creation and set Once this is saved, go to the front end, reload it. Okay, now it is taken from the web creation folder. You are not seeing any uh, any colors or those uh, menus and those things because uh, all of our style sheets uh, uh, style sheets has been removed. Let's check if it has. Only we have the bootstrap and our style style sheet is uh, just a margin and padding. Now, how to make changes on the style sheets? So one easy way uh, to grab all of your style sheets uh, styles uh, which are in the style sheets. Let's let's copy and paste all of our all of our uh, default default theme styles for that I go to the style sheet here and I just copy this style sheet and uh, I pay I go to the dev yes CSS and make paste it and change this yes CSS CSS to yes, CSS. So once I make changes, let's see if it. Let's see if it's already built. It's already built here, and you can see all of all of our uh, CSS is here now this is your so this is your default one now in style.scss you can make changes like uh, let's say you want 850 save it it reloads and it uh, it it's give the uh, margin of 50 so sometimes the cache problem can happen because of the files so for that to remove you can go to the uh, network 
and uh, you can do the disable cache if your uh, if your style sheet is uh, style sheet or js is not ref uh, reflecting from the local host or it, uh, the changes are not uh, directly taken then you can disable the cache from here and it will uh, it will take the recent changes files so like this way you can make changes on the style sheets and similarly if you want to make changes on the JS, uh, then you can. Uh, we we just uh, create a font JS, but uh, you can add or whatever JS you want in here. Uh, you can put the images uh, in this uh, folder and uh, the font in this folder, and it will uh, compile that, uh, compile that, and create a folder outside uh, in in the web creation folder here and uh, it takes the changes from there so like this way you can make changes on the like this way you can start developing uh, developing the open card theme right, so about about this golf js so we we just uh, we are taking like the open card gulp 4 mm, previously i found one uh, uh, in the github that that was using uh, only gulp 3 so which was giving some of the vul vulnerabilities and security issues uh, so we upgraded it to the uh, gulp 4 so it is just uh, using the gulp as gulp concat and css gulp clean and css for all css related plugins and we have the js related plugins and we have the we have um, other utilities plugins and uh, browser sync which uh, helps on like uh, reloading automatically uh, and like this way you can uh, we just uh, make a watch for it each uh, images fonts or tweak uh, tweak uh, watch as well as for the style watch so like this way you can uh, develop the theme it's not mandatory uh, it's uh, not uh, uh, mandatory or it's uh, not uh, from the open card but uh, it helps you on automation uh, it, it will help you on reloading minifying and all, all these things uh, which will help you on fast development so I have in, in the in this block I show you like uh, how we can set up all of those uh, all of these golf or um, all of these golf or package JSONs that we set up so I have uh, uh, I have just described below that section um, and uh, it uh, how we can install all of the packages uh, and uh, we have like the how, how we can change those uh, proxies URLs so these are the uh, blog post that I have uh, written for for making changes on the yes CSS hope uh, hope it helps you on some way please don't forget to post your questions or comments so that uh, we can add extra topics uh, or uh, we have uh, published uh, some pre modules and uh, we have like uh, some open card tutorials that we need to develop develop and we, it will help us on uh, improving the quality and you can follow us on our twitter account and subscribe to our open card tutorial channel thanks a lot and uh, we will come up with uh, some admin works of uh, theme development in our next video thank you